synchronous gait, always three feet on the ground. Dr. Carlos Fernandez breeds rare Puerto Rican Paso Fino horses on his farm north of Washington, D.C. Yeah, come on, I gotta let you loose for a little bit. A transplant surgeon by trade, Dr. Fernandez likes to work with his hands. He keeps 20 horses in two barns, has two houses, an indoor training ring, and other structures on his property. All run on electricity. For the past several years, Dr. Fernandez has been working to make his horse farm energy independent using wind power. Our own lives have been almost turned upside down by the cost of gasoline going up in the last two years. You know, the way, the way we live, the way we do things. Um, so um, I think we would all have a lot more freedom if we were able to make our own power. Dr. Fernandez has four windmills on his property. Two are modern designs made specifically for small-scale electricity production. The other two were originally designed to pump water from deep wells. This particular one was uh, manufactured in 1905. Uh, I found it on a, basically on a yard sale. I brought it home, uh, painted it up, fixed it up, and um, started uh, playing with it to uh, make a conversion to make electricity with it. According to the American Wind Energy Association, interest in small wind technology is on the rise. They say 10,000 turbines were sold in the U.S. last year. They expect that number to grow by 20 percent a year. Ron Stimmel is a small wind advocate. Yeah, the interest is uh, just skyrocketing. Um, there's, uh, people, are, people are looking for a way to, to seize control of their own energy futures, so to speak, uh, and, and really um, and, and become personally energy independent. We use uh, on trade shows and fairs and that kind of thing. Dr. Fernandez is also a dealer. Consumers can choose from hundreds of models on the market, ranging from fourteen to sixty thousand dollars. The industry says the average U.S. household uses about one thousand kilowatts of electricity a month. These units can produce between four hundred to one thousand kilowatts per month, depending on the available wind. For wind power, the main issue is sight. You know where you're going to locate the tower. You know, obviously, trees are not very friendly to to windmills unless you can get 20 to 30 feet above them. Dr. Fernandez says he is not completely energy independent, but after installing his wind turbines, the amount of power he bought from the local utility company went down from 5,400 kilowatts per month to 2,000 kilowatts. This area around here, the average wind speed throughout the year is about 12 miles an hour. There's a range between 9 miles an hour you know, and 15 miles an hour. Um, so what you look for, what you have to look for, is for a turbine that would produce the most at 12 mile an hour winds. His most recent construction project on the farm is this indoor training ring for his horses. It is completely independent of the local power grid. Power for lighting and outlets is generated by small wind turbines. The excess electricity is stored in batteries. Sooner or later, I'm going to be producing more than I use here because I'm always tinkering with you know, more power production or figuring out ways of getting you know, every ounce of, that I can get out of those turbines. Whether it's a taller tower, whether it's you know, better electronics, uh, better generating systems, or being able to catch the wind better. Um, my goal is to be totally energy independent. Okay. He only speaks Spanish. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Dickerson, Maryland.